Hi everybody, this is Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers and thank you for joining me on board this 1995 Dutch Crown Cruiser for a look around her interior in glorious virtual reality. So, what does that mean to you? Well, we hope that that means that you can look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look at me. All you need to do is swipe your screen up, down, left or right, or click and drag your screen up, down, left or right, and you should be able to see around this boat in glorious virtual reality and get a real good feeling as to what it's like to be in this space, how it flows, etc. Now, some people are a little bit sensitive to the movement of the camera, so if you think that may be you, then I'll let you know when the camera's going to be moved and you can avert your eyes. I'll then let you know when the camera's back down safely and you can return to me for the tour. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So, shall we take a look, everybody? Yep, let's go. So here we are. We're in this saloon. It's a raised deck saloon. And uh, first things to note, let's do the all-important height test for those tall people, which aren't me. I'm five foot nine, as you can see, well over six feet here. And the same down forwards, a little bit less in the after cabin. But uh, feeling, as I'm sure you'll agree, like a really wonderfully light and airy and spacious area here because of all these lovely windows the big port companion way here and also the small companion way the aft. So that has a twofold effect. Firstly, feels lovely and bright and airy in here. We've got a great view all the way around if we want it, which is brilliant. Uh, but also if we're at sea as well, if we're driving from this position here, we do have another position upstairs. It means that we've got really good uh, visibility all the way around for watch keeping. So great for safety at sea. We can see aft as well quite well if we just take these curtains away and uh, through that over the aft deck. So um, feeling like a really really lovely place if you wanted to be here for a little bit longer or longer periods longer voyages etc what else can i say about this space well let's uh, let's spin around in an, in an anti-clockwise way hopefully you'll be able to follow me so here as mentioned we've got the helm control so we've got the wheel there we've got the the throttle lever the engine uh, is newly refurbished so uh, should be good to go but uh, that'll be up to you to check out yeah we've got the throttle lever we've got the engine uh, instrumentation here tank contents etc here uh, electrics panel here bow thruster gas alarm compass and clock so all the bits and pieces you would need to uh, run this boat safely at sea apart from the charts obviously which we would need to put somewhere else um, some of this the engine uh, instrumentation and the throttle are repeated upstairs along with the wheel so if you want to steer from the flying bridge that's great too and you'll see pictures of that and a virtual reality photo elsewhere in the advert but uh, looking absolutely wonderful and also you'll notice around this boat we've got lots of uh, lots of wood and it all feels like nice solid wood in a really nice solid steel hull too so absolutely wonderful right let's move a little bit aft Okay, so I'm standing over the, the middle bit of the boat, uh, which contains the engine underneath, which is lovely. So we uh, should have nice, easy access to that under the carpet tiles. We've got a really nice, wide sliding companionway here. Opens and closed really easily, really nice and solid. Nice and wide, so easy to get through. Little bit, a bit of a duck down, but that's to say on most boats. Then you've got a nice big uh, uh, companionway step there, cupboards outboard there as well, and you're in to this wonderful space. Now looking around here, we've got the L-shaped sofas here. Um, we've got a, a freestanding saloon table here, but that could be anything really if you wanted to change that. But again, nice sitting space, plenty of room, shelves, shelving everywhere. We've got blinds or curtains on most of the windows, nothing on these two here, although we do have the curtain rail over. Um, so you do have a, a good degree of privacy in this boat if you want it. But uh, yeah, feeling really, really lovely and a nice place to relax and unwind at the end of the day, I think. Right, let's pick you up and uh, I'm going to take you aft first. So we'll go down these steps here to the aft cabin, which is a bit of a feature on this boat, as you can see. So there we go. The, the reason the aft deck or the, the, the flying deck is so high is because we've got this cabin underneath. Now, I'm five foot nine and I can just, I'm just touching the deck head here with the top of my head if I stand up straight. So that gives you an idea. But in this space, you're likely to be just getting ready for bed anyway and even going to into bed. But uh, yeah, a really lovely sized double. Looks like a proper sized double there. Clamber over for the person there. But uh, generally speaking, um, not too bad at all. Um, I think at the end of the bed here, we've got a clothes rail. That may allow access down at the bottom of the bed, but I can't quite see it at the moment, but uh, that may be up to you to find out. Uh, running down the port and starboard sides of the 
uh, the cabin. We've got three nice big windows. Feels a little bit darker in here today because we've got these two windows here which have been covered up for privacy. Uh, but there is uh, plenty of light in here to do what you need to do. And uh, on the port side the camera is sitting on a really lovely great big shelf here which houses a really lovely great big uh, Ward, uh, cupboard there, not quite a wardrobe, but uh, it is. We do have, uh, yeah, we do have hanging, a hanging side and a, uh, a folded up side there as well. And we've got the bedside cabinet here too as well. But generally, generally in we've got 240 down here and 240 volt sockets down here and around the boat as well. Um, we've got the the radiator heating as well. Feels like a nice place to be, and I think you'd be snug as a bug in a rug in here. Right, let's pick the camera up, and I'll just I need to close this door to the cabin to open this door to the shower and I'll just try and balance you, in fact I'll place you on the head, there we go, so you're on the aft head on this Dutch cruiser um, and again lots of space, head height's about five foot nine, maybe slightly less towards the uh, the outside, we've got the windows which which are shaded so uh, we can't, uh, we, we're not getting so much light in but we can see we've got the opening porthole there which will let light and air in and also let condensation and moisture etc out. The toilet's located within the shower compartment so we've got a shower here, that'd be okay actually to sit on, uh, it all drains away through the deck there and we've got a fiddle here to keep it all in so I think you'd be okay to sit on that and have your shower. Um, if you wanted a freestanding toilet with no shower in it etc there, was, there is one up forward which I'll show you uh, in a little while. Um, elsewhere in this compartment we've got shelving, we've got cupboards, got li a little sink in the corner, mirror and it all, it's all feeling you know nicely appointed and a nice place to be uh, not claustrophobic and somewhere where you should be able to go about your business in uh, relative pleasure and comfort okay let's pick you up again and I'll open the door to the Ford cabin sorry the, the saloon and there we go let's go straight through and over the other side and I'll place you in the center of the compartment so there you go, you're on the saloon table, or the forward saloon table, we do have one here, but this is the one that's installed. Now it looks like it drops down to make a double, which is handy, so if you have guests, then you've got somewhere for them to stay as well, or children maybe for the weekend, etc. But look again around this space, big windows, light and airy decor, feels absolutely great. There's a hatch above the table as well, so if you want to let air in, light, etc, or air out, um, then there's that as well and that will suffice to let uh, cooking gases out although it looks like we do have uh, an exhaust fan up there but let's concentrate on the galley over to the starboard side so if we just whip, it, whip away the uh, the oven gloves there you can see we've got a nice cooker built in here which is lovely really nice height as well actually so most boats and yachts you're sort of down here for the cookers aren't you but this one's about chest level so uh, I quite like that um, we've got lots of useful things to put spices into and to hang things off as well we've got a bin locker here nice big cupboard here for saucepans etc we've got a single sink unit under here, under here uh, with your taps aft bit of work surface where we've got this drainer here but so uh, you could take remove that away and chop here or unless you want, unless you are happy chopping on the saloon table but generally speaking nice long linear galley we've got the fridge underneath here we've got the four burner cooker here and uh, feels kind of uh, ergonomic because you're cooking here you can talk to these people here and you can talk to those people up there and it's obviously really easy to pass things to and from the saloon table we uh we have got a dividing wall here with tiles on as well because this is quite close to the upholstery on that side but uh, it looks like they've uh, they've made it safe so that's uh, that's really good um cupboards behind here we've got sliding door behind there for your uh, cups of your coffee cups or uh, tea bags or whatever it is you want to put in there but generally speaking plenty of room there for a boat of this size i think and there's more to come which I'll show you in a moment. Forwards, lovely seating here, lots of room, I think it does look like the table drops down, we would need to confirm that. Uh, slightly raised area above this flooring which is new but it feels nice and soft and squishy as well which is nice. Um, you can see we've got two 40 volt socket down here, they're smattered all around the boat too. Deck head looks good as well and um, all feeling brilliant, finished off by this uh, great big cupboard here which at the moment is being used for food storage etc etc with shelves above. So the current owners or the, the builders have made great use of this space and the current owners have just enhanced it a little bit with uh, the addition of things like this shelf here which is absolutely great. Now uh, I will take you into the, the forward heads compartment, as you can see being used by uh, the current owners as a bit of a cloakroom but let's just place you in there so you can see. So. Uh, 
a bit more bijou, a bit more compact. Headroom's okay in here. Um, in fact, there's plenty of room to do what you need to do in here. No window or anything, though. although it looks like we have a vent on the outboard side. But generally speaking, does what it says on the tin. It is a heads compartment, and I think you should get away with doing what you need to do in there. So let's pull you out past all the coats. I won't try to close that door uh, one-handed, but let's push it to just for now. And I'll take you back to the saloon. Here we go. And I'll, this time I'll place you there, so you're on the, uh, the, the top step to the aft companionway up to the flybridge there. So, <coughs> excuse me, this has been Tim from Boatshire Job Brokers taking you around the interior of this 1995 Dutch Crown Cruiser in virtual reality. We hope you've enjoyed looking around the boat. You've seen the forward nice open area with the galley, the seating area, lovely raised area here. Massive windows absolutely everywhere around the boat, apart from the after, after cabin. So loads of uh, light coming in, great view, etc. And we've got the aft cabin and the aft head and shower down below. Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the tour and we hope you'll join us for future tours. Take care. Have a great day.